Okay, very quick again, an uh, update on the auto detect with a better user interface. And so, yeah, you can download the binaries here to test. And so here, these are the so, no, 10 minutes ago, the GDM. Uh, 32F130 <laughs> PA2P, that's the most, but here this board has uh, um, the master slave serial to be the, the PB6, P, uh, PB7, so uh, you have to uh, decide. If you want to compile yourself, well, then you have here to uh, activate here the remote auto detect, and as I just said, then in this case, uh, that's uh, you use the uh, user zero and compile okay and here um it's uh, i uh, added uh, a, a temporary storage of of the data uh, here on the efp32 uh because i don't know how to program this ee pro e pro uh for for the gd um, okay and so I, I simply send the data here to the ESP32 and, and I can retrieve it. And so that's, uh, so this auto detect has become a little bigger, bigger, but okay, now let's begin. Uh, turn it on and then yeah, uh, hit enter. And you now you have this nice uh, menu. <laughs> uh, you can do it all or step by step. So print one for the battery and uh, then it's um, doing its stuff and you can hit enter to, to, to change the pin and I think PA5 is this here and so you now press F, F for found and, and uh, on, so F it's if you and L for list so yeah it's gone and then you can press Q to return to the menu and you can press A to show the results and right now there should be here the PA5 back to the menu, now the hold button. And because this board, nothing worked. It's a um, 2.1.4. And, and so uh, first you see, uh, let's give it a try. Um, my nice auto detect and then release on off button and again, but uh, it, it's not working. And so here it says uh, keep released and the board will shut off. So enter again. And now you see it's always uh, sending here the latest um, bit button pin it tests to the ESP32 until it turns off. And so when I turn it on again, then you see here uh, it uh, retrieves uh, the found button. And so yeah, here now the button menu is activated because we can uh, hold it and test the button. So three for button. Uh, release the on off button and you see the board now would shut off but we know the hold button and bridge and here I had uh, to test a, a pull up and pull down and so for this board uh, very strangely uh, uh, the, the, the button um, is okay technical issue so there's a defined button uh, under slash underscore p u pull up and q for the menu and so now for the leds nothing has changed here so uh, this is up here it's not found because you can have multiple options and so here the buzzer and r for red and g for green o for orange and d for down and so we are done and we can go back to the menu and so the hole Uh, this auto detect this pin finder <laughs> for mm32 it's faster and and i'm more reliable uh, than my code i guess but uh, it's somehow still working and so yeah it has detected all three now we have the whole order uh, because uh, when i did program it, it it had been two different stage it quickly finds because there are six per permutations and we have the current DC, and this is also not working. You see, I had this nice where it spins forwards and backwards and detects the back currents and not working for this board. And so here there's M for manual mode. And, and then uh, it simply 
and and then you can you see you could um, and you see yeah a a6 that's the button and, and now you have to wait one cycle to press f for fight <laughs> uh, because normally you always have the, the hand on the motor and, and not on the keyboard and and so i left it that way so here it's not yeah it's a6 and Q and and I think now we, we are done. Um, you see here that's a P U and 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 so and now you see if, if I turn off the board uh, yeah hold button on so really power it off and power it on again uh, then eight uh, results are still there. You see, and then you um, will simply uh, copy this here with string and go to uh, the defines that uh, you, you want to override or take. You see, and you simply paste it here and uh, remove the stuff that I had previously. And now if I press F7, um, uh, <laughs> it's uh, succeeding because it's still uh, auto detect. But here, if I now would command it and layout four. This layout sub is uh, is not. That. Then uh, we get lots of errors. Uh, yes, no master slave uh, set. Uh, Define has you at zero. Um, remote uh, config. It's yeah okay. It's master and the master needs two UART buses uh, and, and this one only has one and therefore we get this error messages. And so yeah. That's it. Now I could flash it and then make this uh, test speed to show you, but that's not the topic of this. But it was here this uh, better user interface is a menu and these manual modes uh, for, for the hold button and, and for the current. So uh, that's, it's even if you run into some trouble with my clever auto detectors, still wait to, to, to proceed. <laughs> okay, bye bye.